we have created in this world is infrastructures where you can do fantastic science and we tell people that beyond those infrastructures you can't do fantastic science, which is broken. Science is about ideas. So it was very clear early on when I started the lab that we wanted to change that a little bit and ask ourselves, how do you turn everybody into a scientist? Most of my life, I grew up in small towns in India, so I had that experience of what it means to do science in developing countries, what it means from a health perspective. There are kids growing up around the world who aspire to be a taxi driver because they're not inspired by science to begin with. Scientific tools need to become common day-to-day -day objects if we want people to think scientifically. So just take a look at that little light coming through. So we wanted to build a microscope that you would just carry with you. If you have a question in mind, you put it in a microscope and you see what it's like. So in the end, we came up with a standalone tool. So a fold scope is an origami-based paper microscope that you fold together by your own hands. You put it together in five to 10 minutes. You can carry it in your pocket. It costs less than a dollar and then you have a completely functional instrument that you can do field microscopy and it allows you to look at subcellular things all the way to the resolution of 700 to 800 nanometers. And I'm seeing some vasculature with the red things. Oh wow! Do you all know what a microscope is? We have a tool. Now we would like to share that tool with a large number of people. So all we did is we asked anybody who wants a full scope, just submit one question. They have to do one unique experiment that they would report on that creates this network of people who are asking questions. So we're sending a microscope to anybody who submitted a question. We have shipments going to South Sudan, Cuba, Iran, Ukraine, India. In the end, we shipped 50,000 microscopes and you get context-dependent science. Like, there is a kid in Nigeria who wrote that he wanted to use Foldscope to detect fake currency from live one. This is so brilliant. And it's that idea is what I'm excited about. Ideas can come from anywhere. What turns people into scientists, in my mind, are when they learn to ask their own questions. And it's this jump in people's confidence, is the fact that they can do science. If we invest early on in inspiring kids to be fascinated by microscopy, it actually leads to them becoming scientists. We have so many problems in the world. I'm absolutely sure having more scientists would help. <laughs>